Welcome class of HC. Like this video on your way in and comment present in the comment section below if you're here to become the best version of you. Here are the five steps on how to calm down. Step one, energy transfer. In this context, to transfer energy means to take the negative energy and to use it to charge a positive action or reaction. Think of this like how the sunlight can shine a beam directly through one side of the prism and yet on the other side, a beautiful array of colors shine through in the form of a rainbow. In this case, think of yourself as the prism and the hot beam of sunlight is the negative energy of some sort coming towards you. Then, instead of holding it in or reflecting negative energy back into the world, you take in that energy and use it to power a positive interaction. In practice, this can mean being triggered by a negative event happening in the media today, for example. And instead of complaining or dimming the light of your worldview, you would assess and acknowledge how you feel and spread the love that you want to see in the world. This can mean to give that raw energy to someone you love and appreciate in the form of expression of words or actions so that they can hold on to it because it may be too much for you to bear in that moment. Always remember, energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed or redirected. Be mindful of the energy you are holding in and always know, just because it came in negative, it does not mean that it has to also go out in that way. Transform the energy and give it away. Step two, breathe. In this context, to breathe is to simply give yourself a moment to be. This can literally mean to give yourself a moment and to take a deep breath. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold it for four seconds. And exhale for four seconds. And repeat this until you feel relieved. This could also mean taking yourself away from what is triggering you and giving yourself the space to process the reality of what is going on. By giving yourself a moment, you are saving yourself from overreacting in a situation that does not necessarily deserve your energy. This means to appreciate that your emotions may be riled up and that's okay. To breathe is to give yourself the time and the space needed to explore and fully express those feelings. Always remember, you do not have to answer to everything right away and that no one is entitled to your time and your energy. Emotions are like water, so let them flow. If you suppress them, they will become stagnant and will cause diseases, like stagnant water does. Connect with your emotions and find ways to express your feelings in your way. Take a deep breath and remind yourself that this is just a moment and you will be okay. Step three, introspect. Introspection is essential to calming down because when you can get to the root of why you are feeling irritated or annoyed in the first place, not only can you mitigate its effect on you, but you can also preemptively detract from those types of situations going forward. In essence, introspection is to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Consider the way you feel and why you feel the way you feel. Through introspection, we will often come to realize that although the situation may have triggered our emotions, if we react according to the fire we feel inside, we are likely to encourage a spiral down a path of negativity. Introspection encourages a stoic approach, which will provoke a more sound reaction, if a reaction is deemed necessary at all. Always remember though, distance does not mean healing. Not because you are away from the problem does it mean that the problem is no longer there. Introspection means to refine your craft so that when it is time to go forward, you know exactly why and how to move forward. Think of this like facing a boss in a video game with a dull sword. Although you may have all of the energy in the world to face this boss, you can only defeat him by taking a step back, refining your weaponry, and coming back to fight when ready. Introspect and find your calm. Step four, open your mind. 
Always remember, not because you believe or feel something to be true, does it make it an objective truth. Because you are completely convinced of a thing, does not make it more real for anyone else involved in a given situation. In this context, to open your mind is to consider alternate perspectives. And to always remember, everything in life that applies pressure to us is a tool to make us better. Are you being disrespected or are you just being challenged? Are you being offended or is your ego hurt because it is confused? Always remember, things that you believe unconsciously will always override the things that you say that you believe consciously. Therefore, for example, if you already believe that a person is a disrespectful person, you are likely to take what they say or do in a disrespectful way. Which leads us to our final step. Step 5. Don't take things personally. To not take things personally is to accept that things are not happening to you and the universe is not working against you. It's just working. Take a step back and accept that sometimes we're just collateral damage and someone else's war against themselves. By avoiding to take things personal, we are better able to process what is going on, different from what we feel about what we think is going on. Sometimes the way a thing happens affects us more than what actually happened, which leads us to feeling heated, annoyed, and sometimes even neglected. But when we are able to separate ourselves from the situation, we are able to perceive events or happenings for what they really are, which will then help us make a better judgment of the situation and consequently take more constructive actions going forward. Knowing to not take things personal will help with calming down because when we overinvest ourselves with problems, we are simultaneously taking away from potential investment into solutions. Come back to calm by taking a step back and acknowledging that taking anything personally is your choice. Thanks for your attendance today. Before you leave class, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.